What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun! Last time, we kind of got thrown into Colosso, even though we had no intentions of joining it. Oh, that guy watches me! Interesting. Uh, this time, let's start the matches, shall we? We just got rock into the eight circle here that just kind of chalked on. <laughs> Are you ready for the finals? Yes. Hey, any day now, we're gonna time away. Let's get this thing started. Let's get this thing started! I agree, let the finals begin already! Um, yeah, I'll show you. You're here to win the finals. Hey, what's the matter? Hurry up and start. Light up starting with the top ranked warrior and await the single. Sick an owl. You can see it goes like the first ranked warrior is bottom left there, then it goes the second one in the uh, top left, then it goes in a zigzag. So the blue guy, then the red guy, then the purple guy, then the light green guy, then the teal guy, then the red guy, then the gray guy, and then me! Hello! Now then, chosen warriors, let the finals begin! I was kind of confused how these guys are lined up, but yeah, it does make sense. Here we go, you guys. Just by ourselves now for some reason. Let the hands! For some reason, I love love music. So, yeah, this is the cheating. It's really weird because you can't talk to any of these guys. They're very kind of like, I don't know, low detail. If you have nothing to do and you can't cheat, you can't talk to these guys. Huh? Are you done cheering? No, I'm not. Cheer the best you can! <laughs> what a weird way to say it. So yeah, here's our opportunity to cheat. Make shortcuts for Isaac, pretty much ensuring that I'll get there uh, first and get all the best items. The match is about to begin, please take your places. You obviously don't have to do this, it is definitely pretty helpful though. Um, you can do two things here actually. You can use Halt on this guy to stop him from uh, uh, moving those platforms up and down, or you can use Growth. I'm going to use Growth because it is overall the best thing to do. The match is about to begin, please take your places. Also, notice how it went to Garrett, then Ivan, and then Mia. Oh, maybe it maybe it does it based on party member. I was gonna say because like you you think it'd do Garrett and Mia than Ivan just based on because this is the third area and this is the second area, and then he's down here. Easy peasy lemon scoop. I like how this is ignored. No one cares that we're doing this. <laughs> and once everyone's done everything, we get to start. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> and there's Garrett chain from the side there. And yeah, there's all these extra bonus items. I think I do not. Whoa! Oh, don't get stuck, please. Normally you'd push that pipe to get through here, but we don't need to do that. Normally you'd have to time ourselves to walk across these. These timed ones I'm really bad at. That's why it's pretty important. Oil drop. Normally pretty pathetic items, but considering we have no items on us, they are pretty helpful. So for this one, to get this chest, there's also no help here. We're gonna want to do this. And this, and then run around again. As you can see, in real time there, the, the, the second player, which is our uh, opponent here, is running. Uh, we're still in the second to last room, though, in the last room, so we should be okay. Nuts. These nuts are actually pretty freaking awful. Okay, he's in the final room. I think they always go for all chests. I think, yeah. I got an iron shield. It automatically equips like stuff like this, by the way, so there's no issue. It does make things pretty difficult, though, when they do get the, uh, the better items, so keep that in mind. Although, that being said, it's just a defensive item this time, so it's not a huge deal if, uh, if the other guy would have won. There we go. It's this guy. Azart appeared! Alright, Azart, he's level 25, has 450 hit points, he drops no gold and no experience. Uh, if he had gotten here before me, he would have gotten the Iron Shield, which would have given 20 defense. And because he got the Pack of he just gets 2 defense, so he's much more weaker. His defense jumps by 1, because that's all he has, just 2. He's down to 1 defense now, how kind of sad. Um, we'll use Sleet. Uh, 1 turn defense. His ability to defend, uh, he can use, he has, he has 2 nuts, and he has 1 oil job, so keep those in mind. Let's see if we can put him to sleep. Also, if he falls asleep here, he did not. Uh, his attack performs normal. Most stats ailments you do to this guy, it will um, only last for a turn. He's been stunned. There we go. So he's stunned, right? Let's might as well heal up a bit. I believe right after this turn, he won't paralyze anymore. Or not. Okay, great. <laughs> Alright, well, we have Vorius. This should take care of him. Look, kind of sucks having to get everybody my Venus in, but hey, it works. There we go, perfect. Dead. Wins! These are like normal battles. If you die, you do have to restart. I see you made it through your first match. Winning your first match after jumping rain, the finals is awesome. I should expect as much as the Warriors uh, handpicked by Bobby. Now we have a look at the next series of stages. 
Here we go. This is the second finals match. As I explained earlier, each stage has its own attendant. Please ask the attendants for uh, directly for descriptions of each stage. Isaac, that was your that first match was terrific. I'll be right here. So tell me when you're done looking around. Cool, he complimented me, and that sounds like a genuine compliment. All right. Yes, let's hear a description. Uh, this one actually confused me. There's like statues down there, so obviously moves involved. You actually want to move the middle one there, but yeah, this is a mini maze. It's not too big of a deal to skip this one, but this is actually the first time we will have to skip something though. No, we're gonna skip this for now. I do want to take a look at some things here. There's an additional one uh, obstacle course here. In the first round, there's only two, or sorry, there's only three, no, sorry, four. This one has five. This is a shifting floor stage. Uh, step skillfully across the floor as it moves around. Now, this one's a bit interesting, and I think if you don't uh, time your steps, you'll lose valuable time. Yeah. I'm gonna leave this one for now. Okay, so you can put Ivan here to halt him. However, you there is a chest you will not be able to get if you do that. Uh, third stage here. Right, there's, you could free, use freeze there. There's a log rolling stage. Right, the logs across the line. Oh, is there a treasure chest up there? I don't think so. No, there's not. Okay, good. So I don't have to worry about skipping the chest there. And then finally... Well, this one actually doesn't have anything. There's, there's no one could help you here, so we're gonna check out this last one. Yes. So we use force here. Uh, yeah. This one actually takes a little while if you don't do this properly here. Lock the hero position to block your path. Those logs open a path and follow the next stage. Yup, y'all. Uh, not yet. Okay. So, what we need here is we need move, and then we can use hull for the next one, but I think we're not going to do that, and force. So we're going to have to give the force orb to... Ivan, right? Yes, Ivan. So we want force here. Oh, I want to make absolutely sure I equip that right. I'm, I'm always scared. I'm going to miss something here. Alright. Oops, no, 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 no! I didn't mean to do that! It's called the board rock. I bet you guys didn't know that, did you? <laughs> yeah. uh, well, that's a that's that's a pity. I probably should have skipped this. There we go. Yes. Force go. I will cheer for you. Please this way. Next area has nothing for us. Um, then this should have freeze, I believe. Cheer. Here we go. So you don't have to have things explained to you. Thank God. Here we go. Thanks, Mimi. Mimi, that was gross. Once again, you could use Hull here if you want. I'm not going to. Although, oh, oh, that scared me. I definitely thought I hit description by mistake. There we go. Move. <laughs> Look at his closed eyes. Yeah, silly goose. Yeah, silly ragamuffin. All right, gonna clip that. There we go. We are done here. I just did a good look around. We sure did, buddy. Let's head back then. Lebanon. So yeah, this one always kind of confused me. It's like, you'd think you'd have to move this one, because that's going on to the next course, but no, you actually want to move this middle one. That first one on the right there is complete decoy. In fact, they're all decoys, except the middle one here. Uh, Ivan. Okay. Time to use Force. Bam! I haven't seen Force use in a while. Uh, that log kind of glitched out a bit there. <laughs> like, flipped around. And then you want to use Frost on this one. I feel like you use Frost on both of those. It almost makes me think that you're supposed to be able to do that. Alright, here we go. As you would imagine, as we go through Colosso, the second match here that we're doing will be much harder on the first one. Alright. So we should be able to get... Yeah, there we go. Two jumps in. Two jumps in now! Bam! And we're gonna want to go up here. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait here. Oops, oh god! Um, you actually waste time when you are in your menu. Time does move forward, so you want to keep that in mind. There's nothing there, right? Yes, correct. Uh, crap, do I want to do that? Uh, we got to decide quickly. Oh yeah, also, if we had... No, no, no. If we had... Oh no, I want that. I want that, actually. I do want it. I was gonna say, I should have move. I... What? What? 
I'm too far away! Oh god. Oh god. Come on. That wasted a lot of time. Not only in my indecisiveness, but also because I messed up move twice there. Crap, dude. That sucks a lot. Let's get this chest. Yeah, if you had uh, growth here, you could use that on there to skip this obstacle entirely. God damn, he's way ahead of me. No, 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 come on. He's gonna beat me, isn't he? So you wanna go down the middle here. Everything else will lead you to the bottom. All right? Uh, he's gonna make it. He's gonna make it before me. Look at that. Oh, he might be going for a chest or something. Oh, he made it before me, that bugger. <sighs> so, uh, the iron shield we got last time lasted longer. Or, sorry, it. Is there any other item? No, there's not. Okay. Wow, I can't believe he beat me. So, there's all the cotton shirt here. So, that means this guy is gonna have more defense than me. Um. He has 28 defense, and I have 3 defense thanks to that. That sucks. Uh, right. Okay, let's drop his defense first, shall we? So, Sectridge! He is level 25, he has 570 hit points, so an additional 120 hit points comparably to the last guy we fought. Um... So we can stun him here. Nope. He has ability to use nuts, he has two of them, he has ability to defend, and he has one smoke bomb as well. So he's pretty much used pretty much all his stuff already. So he's missed here. Maybe put him to sleep? Nope. As you see, every single uh, Jin we use here will be super fast. Any kind of synergy, any kind of elemental uh, elemental attack we use here will do a lot of damage because he he has no resistance to anything. Most humans do not. Ow, all these humans! It's pretty scary healing like this, because you know, you do lose health when you do this, and see, we're actually kind of a little low on health. If you were to critical strike on us, we would be dead. So hopefully this takes care of him here. No, it didn't! Oh no! Oh good, he's using that. Oh yeah, he's been healing, that's why. Uh, Alright, well here's a chance for us to use uh, synergy we don't get to use. Cutting Edge! It flicked damage with a shockwave! This is actually pretty cool, I like this move a lot. Poopy, I don't like it. Okay, we can heal ourselves, that's good. Rip. I think, well, let's try using Mist, actually. Maybe that'll put him to sleep. No, man, this guy's really resilient. Okay, we need to heal again. He doesn't have any more nuts, so we don't have to worry about him healing anymore. Hey, we dodged the bull, look at that. Look at that, mate. Uh, let's jump his defense some more. This is actually fun. This is oh, he's defending. Dang it, that sucks. All right, uh, great. Let's just attack now. There we go. This should end him, I think. This guy only had like an additional 120 health, but look how much longer it took to find him. It's because he got all those nuts, man. Win! Ripperoni, you've managed to win both of your matches. You're incredible, Isaac! If you win the next one, you'll be the champion! Fantastic performance, just ex just as Babby expected. I won't underestimate you again. Let me take you to the next group of stages. Yay! We did it, you guys! This is the site of the third finals match. By now, you know, each stage has its own attendant. As the attendance uh, for the description of each stage. Honestly, Isaac, I didn't think you'd make it this far. You're right here, <laughs> so tell me when you're done looking around. I like how you like... Over time, this guy, like, you know, becomes a fan of me. That's cool. Um, okay, what do we need for this one? Frost move, halt, and force. So we got another option here. We'll take a look at the, the four that we have an option to do here. Okay, so there's this one. Obviously, use frost on that. This is called the Scales of Justice. <laughs> so lame. There are two ledges that are actually form a scale. And you can see if you just walk on that, you'd fall, and there's a ladder to the left there. One ledge falls, the other rises. Who scales across the gap and race to the next stage? And you're not gonna have someone cheer for me? Next one here. Stage 2! Just like your description of the stage. Oh, okay, this is not the one I was scared of. This is the stepping stone stage. As you can see here, you can use move to skip a large amount of this. You can reach the next stage by jumping stone to stone. So the placement of the stones and choose the shortest path. Which really, there's not many options. <laughs> I think there's only one extra stone you could step on, so it's not even like a maze or anything. Next up is nothing, I believe, right? No. Oh yeah, this one. Stage three. Yep. I'm gonna hear. Okay, so this one. This one sucks. I hate this one a lot. It's called the wall. The wall wedge. 
I am horrible at timing this. This took me like five to ten minutes to do the very first time I played this. I sucked at it a lot. The pistons move back and forth, avoid them to reach the next stage. I have bad eye hand coordination. I get pushed off these a lot. If time is off, the piston might knock you off the ledge. Stage three. Absolutely not. And then finally, this one has nothing, and then this one does. Stage five. Yes. So there's six stages in this. So you can use force on that log there, and then I'll cut the conveyor belt. I won't cut it, it'll, it'll freeze it. This is called the moving sidewalk stage. The conveyor belt moves the opposite direction that you need to go. So this one's a huge time sink. If you have better timing than me, it's definitely recommend you use force on this one to uh, save time, race against it to reach the next stage. Uh, I, however, I'm not very confident in the pi pistons, so we're gonna go frost move and halt. I believe we're already set up for that, right? Oops. Frost, move, and halt. Okay, great. Uh, we'll just go to the beginning here so I don't get disoriented and put the wrong people on the wrong ones. This is stage right now. <laughs> Look how long this is, man. Long cut is long. Cheer. And there's two stages we're gonna go over, but we'll let those be a surprise. Next up is move. I'm only holding B there. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, move. I'm not pressing the button. Great. And then halts. Cheer. When I, was in, when I was looking into this, doing like research for this game, um, the guy I read specifically said it's much more time efficient to uh, use force instead of halting the, the thing there. I, and yeah, probably true, it's better, probably better to halt the conveyor belt because that saves a lot of time. I am absolutely garbage at those pistons though, so yeah, I find it's much easier to do it this way. So maybe like time to move this to the left, do not move it to the right. Let's see that creates that shortcut there. And then we're gonna use halt on this guy. This is a really weird, by the way. They look like, I don't know, their hair just looks like bananas to me, right? Look at those banana hair. Halt, perfect. Of course, this is an optional synergy. You don't even necessarily have to have that, which I guess is why there's like, there's areas where, you know, you have like four options of what to do. Oh. Thrust! What? <clears throat> Come on. How does water even get here? What is this leaky ceiling? Alright you guys, here we go, the final match. And I think we're gonna save here just in case. <laughs> Gotta be quick about it though. I think it pauses when we save. I could be wrong though. Let's see. Uh, I think it did actually. Let's go for this chest. A sneak babe. So now, because the shortcut gear gave us, we're gonna do this and skip a large section of the maze. Here's the pistons, which I'm garbage at. Yeah, no regrets there. So I can see where it got a little bit of a lead here. The nuts, great. The nuts! Once again, if we had growth, we could have made quick work of this, but that's okay. So I guess it's intended we're supposed to like have fire synergy on me, but if we use that, I'm pretty sure we don't get the healing synergy. So I'd much rather do this instead. Here's like a very belt we could use for a sign. Actually, we're moving, we're moving a bit quicker than I figured we would. Oh, this thing. Okay, um, I should want to do this. Oh! We'll push those up there, and then we can actually push. Oh, but that dang it, that gets that. Oh, that make gets rid of the chest. Shoot, should you reset? <gasps> we barely made it. I guess not. I guess we're not gonna reset. I believe there's a nut in that chest. I checked in the other way. I'm pretty sure it's a nut. It's a nut 100% completion. <laughs> Now you wait. We definitely had time to grab that, didn't we? This guy definitely looks like he's grabbing it. So yeah, we could pull. We could have used move to pull that back instead of going down there. But there we go. All right, this is the Vampa. Uh, he's level 25, and I'll go over the rest of this stuff in a second. Let's see if we can paralyze him. I think he's taller. <laughs> he's stunned. Wow, that actually started off pretty nicely. Hail, drop his defense. Level 25, he has 820 hit points, so uh, an additional uh, 100, 150 health comparatively to the last one, and even more health than the, the first one we fought, because he's missed. He's still stunned, good, good. Um, much like the other ones, he drops 0 gold, 0 experience points, 
he either will have 232 attack or 274 attack. Since we got the weapon for him, he only has 234 attack, which should be very helpful. Wow, he's not asleep too. Dang. We're getting very lucky here. He's asleep. There we go. He woke up. Also, his defense returned to normal since, yeah, he's by himself here. Poor little guy. Uh, he has one smoke bomb, one nuts, one sleep bomb. Rip a Roni. Kill him, please. 191. Yeah, it's not going to be that easy. Thankfully, he only has one nut instead of two. Let's use Briar. We haven't used that yet. There we go. I will be going over all the different synergy uh, combinations you have by playing with your Jin at the end of this game, but not quite yet. There we go. Oh, wow! Okay, this battle, actually, you can lose it. And if you do lose it, the exact same cutscene plays with one minor detail. Instead of uh, Navampa on the ground here cowering, he is cheering. Uh, maybe I'll show a quick little screenshot of that here. But I think we're going to actually end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. In the next one, you'll see why Isaac has died. Ripperoni pepperoni. Goodbye, everyone!